Hello and welcome to Python Programming Complete Course. This is part 13, File Handling in Python. In this video, we will discuss the basic file input-output operation, that is the CRUD operation, how to create a file reading and writing data into a file, updating the data and deleting the file, plus some file methods like tell, uh, seek, flush and strip. Before we start working with files, let us understand the need and importance of file handling in Python. Till now, we were writing programs where data or values were stored in variables during runtime and lost after program completion. If we talk about large amount of data on which reading and writing will be done, it is better to store them permanently using files which could be accessed through Python programs and can be updated or read in future. So files are the named location on disk to store related information. When we talk about uh, files in Python, they can be opened either in a text as a text file or as a binary file. Now text file stores information in ASCII or Unicode characters where each line includes a sequence of character and is terminated with an end of line character or a new line character. Whereas binary file stores the uh, data in binary format. There is no delimiter for a line and they are best suited for images or executable files. Before we start working with files, we first have to open the file. Now, when we, op when we talk about opening a file, uh, while opening a file, we can also create a file uh, using the different modes. So the syntax to open a file is we give a name that is the file pointer's name or the file handle's name, file object's name and we make use of the open function. Open function takes two arguments, the name of the file and the mode in which we want to open the file. File name can be any uh, valid file name. It could be an existing file or it could be a name of the file which we want to create. Mode specified that what kind of operation we want to perform on that particular file. Whether we want to read data, we want to write it or append it. Um, there are various other modes which we will discuss in this video. Once a file is open, we get a file handle or a file object. So our open function, it returns a file object or a file handle, which is a reference to the file which is stored on the disk. And using this file handle, we can perform different tasks like that is we can write or read data from the file. So let us see how to open a file. The This statement, f file equals to open letter.txt, we are trying to open a file letter.txt. By default, when we do not specify the mode in which we want to open a file, it is read mode and we are opening this file letter.txt as a text file. We can also uh, specify instead of the default uh, syntax like this, we can also write R for the mode. This is a case where my file is present in the same directory where my Python program resides. So we are using making use of the relative path. We are just giving the name of the file. But if my file is stored in a different, the file which we are trying to open is stored in a different directory or in a different drive, we have to give the full path. That is, we have to specify the absolute path for that particular file. So in this statement, I have written f file, that is the file object, open this particular file alphabets.txt, which is in D drive and inside the Python folder. Now we already know that slashes and a character, they have special meaning in Python. To suppress that special meaning, we can use double slashes, two slashes to remove that special meaning or we can also use the R character to treat this, this absolute path as a raw string. 
so that special meaning will be removed and my file which is present in some other directory using the absolute path we can open that particular file and uh, in this these last two statement we are checking if this file if this particular file object file handle exists then we'll get a statement that file is open let's try and execute this program you could see yes this file exists and this particular file has been opened for us to perform different tasks in this program we are making use of the try except and else clauses to open a file and to check whether the file has been opened or not and finally we are trying to close the file so file mode in this open uh, function we have specified the name of a file climate.txt and we are opening it in read mode when we are opening a file in read mode that particular file must exist and if that file does not exist we will get an io error that this file does not exist or this file cannot be read an error will be raised so for r mode that is the read mode the file must exist if i write w that is i want to write something to a file w mode will create a file if the file does not exist and the data which is already present in that file that will be overwritten next we have the append uh, mode that is a we can write a character a within quotes file is created if it does not exist and it is open in uh, append mode that is data whatever new data we are writing to the file it will be added to the existing data similarly we can we have r plus w plus and a plus where we can both read and write but for r plus the file should exist whereas for w plus and a plus a new file will be created if it does not exist we have one more uh, mode uh, x which opens a file for exclusive creation and if the if the file is already uh, present it will give me an error for text file we need not write rt it is by default because we are giving the extension here for binary if we want to open a file in binary form we have to write rb or wb or r plus b to specify that we are trying to open the file in the binary mode in this program we have written uh, the function to close the file in the finally uh, clause we know that when we are using try except and finally finally is always executed and the purpose of writing uh, the close function and finally is closing a file after the work has been performed um, manually closing the file after the work has been performed it ensures that the data is written to the disk and it will all also free up the resources that are associated with the file to read the data from a file we can either use the read method file dot read method or we can use the read line or the read lines uh, method all are available as per our requirement those function those methods are being used in this program uh, we are using read method first you have to open the file uh, we are we have opened our climate.txt in read mode you could see r plus and we are trying to read the entire content of the file climate.txt using the read method so the method the syntax is simple you just have to use the file handle dot read read can also be used to read specified bytes from the file now before we move further let us talk about the file pointer when we open a file in any mode we have a cursor position in the file which is defined as the or which is known as the file pointer it helps in reading the file it is it helps in performing uh, writing and retrieving data from specific positions in the file so when we open a file in read mode and write mode the cursor is always positioned at the beginning of the file whereas in append mode the cursor is at the end of the file 
कमिंग बैक टू रीड मेथड वी आर ओपनिंग अ फाइल इन रीड राइट मेथड रीड राइट मोड सो द कर्सल विल बी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द फाइल एंड यूजिंग द रीड मेथड वी आर रीडिंग द इंटायर कंटेंट ऑफ द फाइल यू कुड सी द इंटायर द फाइल इज ओपन एंड वी हैव प्रिंटेड द कंटेंट ऑफ द फाइल इफ आई राइट इफ आई राइट सम इंटीजर इन साइड द रीड मेथड that is we are passing an argument it will it means that we are trying to read specified number of bytes from the file so file will be open cursor will be the file pointer will be positioned at the beginning of the file and from the beginning now if i execute this program you could see it will read only 30 bytes this is the content of the file and if we make any changes we will we are getting only 30 bytes from the moving on to read line method it will the read line method it reads individual lines of a file like for example uh, we are opening a file in read uh, mode read write mode and we want to read one line from the file so we can use the file pointer dot read line method to read the lines from a file see you you could see the output only one line has been read similarly if i use the read lines method it will read all the lines from the file and the output will be in the form of a list let's see one program for read lines as well the same program if we instead of read line we change it to read lines you could see Uh, let's see the output you will see the output in the form of a list earlier only one line was been read using read line this time the output will be different you could see the output in the form of a list together with the new line characters after each line you could observe the new line character we have discussed how to read the data from the file once the file is open now there are different ways in which we can use the uh, read or the read line or the read lines method uh, you could see i have three files open three programs open in front of me and using a uh, different ways i am trying to read the data from the file in this read1.py i am opening the file and using the for loop the line by line i am uh, picking up the data and printing it in the second one we are making use of the with statement using with and i am opening the climate.txt then we are reading uh, one line at a time now when we are using with statement we need not close the file manually with statement uh, itself when when the time, when the task is complete it itself closes the file whereas in this program we are making use of a while loop to read one line at a time and we are printing the output so these are three different ways uh, in which we are trying to read a file to write to a file we can use the write method or the write line methods to, to uh, write data to a file which is open either in the append mode or the write mode now in this program we are trying to open a file music player dot txt in append mode and uh, we are we are writing this data using the write method so write method takes it takes the argument that is the string which we are trying to write to the file and after that we are printing if the data is been written we are printing data written finally we are closing the file let's see you could see data written and the file is been closed if i open uh, music player dot txt you could see the data been written in the file here you can see the data short video glitch uh, at the beginning of the playback been written to music dot player music player dot txt file which is created uh, using this particular program similarly we have the write lines method which write uh, lines Uh, n number of lines 
to the to a file in the but it takes the data in the form of a list and we have to specifically specify the new line character as you can see in this program we are passing uh, we have a list where some data is been written and all the lines all the lines they are separated from each other with the new line character when this will be written to the file it will be in different lines so we are opening a file in read write mode and we are writing the data using write lines we are writing this list to a file using the write line method once it is done we will also try to read the lines from the file let's execute this program and see the result so a file has been opened data is been written we did not get the output from the file first let us see our file whether data is being written to the file or not let me open winter.txt so we have a file winter.txt you could see data has been written but we did not get any output from the file why is it so why data is not been written on the output terminal one reason for data not uh, appearing on the output terminal is that it is not written uh, from the buffer to the file stream so for that purpose we in our program we could use the flush method to write the content of the buffer forcefully into the file stream while we are working on a program so the two method to use flushes you use your uh, file handle dot flush it will write the data another thing is we know when we open a file in either write mode or the append mode the pointer is at the beginning the file pointer is at the beginning of the file when we write some data the pointer moves to the end of the file now when we have written the data using write lines the pointer is at the end of the file and we are trying to read the data where my pointer is placed there is no data for that purpose what we have to do is we have to move to the beginning of the file now how to move to the beginning of the file we can make use of the seek method to move the file pointer to the beginning of the file if we want to see where my file pointer is currently positioned we can also use the tell method to see the current position of the uh, file pointer so if i write print uh, my file dot tell it will tell me where this pointer is currently positioned and if i see the output you could see file has been opened data is been written it the pointer is at 216th byte and nothing has been returned if in the same program i use the seek method which changes the file uh, pointer or the file position to the place where we specify either to the beginning of the file or to the current position or to the end of the file and how and to which byte we want to place that particular pointer it we could specify it using the seek method so if i write my file dot seek where i want to place that is the offset position i want to place the pointer at the beginning the second argument it specifies start current or the end position so i want to place the pointer at the beginning so we are writing 0 0 save it and execute the program you could see file has been opened data has been written pointer is at the end of the file but since we are using the seek method to position it again at the beginning of the file we are getting the answer using the read lines we are getting a list of whatever data we have written in the file in the form of a list 
similarly we could also change this to like if i say place it to the 10th position or the 50th position and then read that could also be done if i write something uh, 50 comma 0 i save it and then start reading you could see a different output you could see the output now instead from the beginning of the file the data is uh, is given the output is from the 50th position from the beginning of the file similarly in this program we are uh, opening a file letter.txt in the read write mode we are placing the pointer at the fifth byte we are reading some date we are reading 20 bytes from that uh, current position that is the fifth from the fifth byte again we are moving to the end of the file you could see the second argument two that is we are moving to the end of the file and there we are writing some data using the write method if i execute this program and show you the output you could see the current file position is five this has been read the 20 bytes are being read uh, using this statement now 5 plus 20 you got the answer 25 now we are moving the pointer to the end of the file using the seek method you could see the current file file position 192 and there we are writing python we are writing a word python in the letter.txt file we could also use using the seek we could also specify one that is at the current position if you want to write some data we want to move the pointer to that particular place and write the data it will be written but it will be overwritten the whatever existing data is there the data will be overwritten to overcome that we could use the insert and join methods together with the uh, seek to properly write the data we have one more file method known as strip uh, method which removes both leading and trailing spaces or white spaces from the given string for example in this program we have a variable content uh, where we have some leading and trailing white spaces as can be seen we are using the strip method content that is the uh, variable dot uh, the method strip which will remove the both the leading and the trailing white spaces if we specify if we specify a character that we want to remove from the given string then strip method will remove that character from the string similar to strip we have l strip method and the r strip method which are used to remove the leading uh, white space character and the trailing white space character or if we specify a character which we want to remove then that particular character will be removed from the given string let us see the output of this program You could see the first print statement it has removed the content dot strip it has removed the white spaces both leading and trailing white spaces the where we have specified content dot strip we want we want to remove the hash character you could see removing hash character strip function only strip function in python the leading using this uh, content one dot l strip we are removing the leading hash characters then r strip is removing the trailing asterisk character now that we have discussed how to create a file how to read write or update data into a file let's see how we can delete a file using the python program from the python program itself so we are in this program we are importing the os uh, library and using the uh, remove method we are deleting a file fruits.txt we are checking if it is exists then remove it if not we will get a error message let's see this file does not exist so this file uh, is not present in my folder so we are getting it is not existing 
let's try the same thing with a different file say if i say fruits1.txt if this file exists uh, we'll check yes i have not saved it let me save it and then execute yes it this file exists and the file has been deleted you could see this this statement file has been deleted using the remove method similarly from the os library we could uh, use the rename method to rename a file to a different name that is os dot rename file one to file two we will provide the two names there are other methods also we can change directory we can uh, make a directory using the python programs itself from the python program itself now that we have discussed the various methods of reading and writing data to a file how we can use the various file methods let us see one program where we are uh, opening a file test.txt in read write mode and we are trying to read the entire file to calculate the number total number of lines in our file the number of characters and the words so this is one way of uh, finding out the lines words and character you could use a different approach to calculate the same so we are reading the lines one by one from our file and uh, using the length function and split method we are we are uh, calculating the characters words and lines and finally we are printing the output if i execute this program you could see this is the test.txt file where we have two lines so total number of lines two four words are there and the total number of characters are, are 20. in this video we have discussed the basic crud operation that is how to create and open a file write data to a file different file methods how we can position and work around with the file pointer to read or write data from a specific positions in the file and at the same time we have also seen how to delete or remove a an existing file in the next video we will discuss recursion in python hope you found the information shared in this video useful stay tuned for upcoming videos and thank you for watching